Tarleton Raceway, home of drag racing in South Africa, the scene of countless clashes between superfast machines. Today it's providing a fitting backdrop and the perfect proving ground for the RPM TV performance feature. As often as we can, we like to organize ourselves a performance shootout, and this year we've decided to focus on hatches. Yes, and a full variety of hatches, from the premium, expensive 4x4 kind, like the Audi S3 and the Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG, to the so-called pocket rockets, represented here by the Fiesta ST, the Polo GTI, and a handful of others. And some of the machines we've got are brand new, like the new Audi S3, and some of them are a little bit older. We've got a VW Polo GTI. We've come to Tarleton to find out which is the best in the category. Let's start off with the pocket rockets and first up the Ford Fiesta ST. With its combination of affordability and performance, the first generation Ford Fiesta ST was a huge hit. And so it was a bit of a surprise when Ford made a statement saying that it was not going to produce an ST version of the new generation Fiesta. Fortunately, it ended up being a hoax and this car, the latest ST, is one of the favourites and also one of the most popular cars in its segment. The Fiesta isn't only the most affordable car in this class, but it also has the best power to weight ratio. It also looks the racy part and has a good complement of standard spec. Most of all though, it's really fun to drive. Straight out of the gates of the green hell is an even hotter version of a hatch that wasn't too bad to begin with. This Corsa OPC gets more power, improved brakes, better suspension and reworked electronics to make it worthy of the track from which it takes its name, the Nürburgring. The Corsa is the most powerful car in its class, while the extrovert OPC styling adds visual muscle too. But it's not as talented as some of the others here when it comes to controlling all that urge, which handicaps its real world performance. One of my favorite pocket rockets in this comparison is the Peugeot 208 GTI. 147 kilowatt of power means that it has a lot of punch, but the real talent of this car is the chassis, and it really feels very composed and very entertaining through the twisties. The 208 GTI is a close second in the power to weight ratio stakes, and that goes for value too. It's an exceptional handler, finding a great balance between control and comfort, but it doesn't communicate its performance message as succinctly as the Fiesta. The Volkswagen Polo GTI is a great package. 132 kilowatt, seven speed DSG gearbox, electronic diff, and a drive that never fails to put a smile on your face. But it has been around for two years, so it's up against some much fresher machinery, which should make things interesting. The Polo is the only pocket rocket in our shootout with a dual clutch gearbox, which adds to the driving fun thanks to slick and lightning fast gear changes. But it can't match the others in terms of power or value, and it could be more engaging despite its junior GTI look. The tussle between our four pocket rockets was a close one, and all four lived up to their performance promise. But before we go to the results, let's first explain what the vehicle testing at Tarleton Raceway entailed. We fitted our race technologies GPS based testing gear to each car and then ran four sets of sprints measuring quarter mile as well as 0 to 160 km an hour acceleration and then braking from 160 km an hour to zero. The procedure was identical for each of the cars tested and we selected the best run from each test sequence. The test results are stored on compact flashcard and analyzed using race technologies software. Our results put the Fiesta on top, but the Polo GTI was a surprise second thanks to the best brakes. Tall gearing dropped the Peugeot to third. 